when an electron is bound around an atom, an electron has wave-like properties, it's bounded, and when you bound something with a wave-like property, you naturally get quantization, different energy levels. Now, our energy levels are described by wave functions with three quantum numbers, n, l, and m sub l. And there's a myriad of possibilities. So what we want to do is catalog them and see which energy levels an electron will exist in about an atom. So let's start with the n equal 1 state. n gives the total energy of the system. Now you can also have n equal 2 and keep on going up to the ionized state, n equal infinity. What we're going to say is, for n equal 1, there's a several values of L, the angular momentum quantum number. For n equal 1, L can be 0, and that gives rise to what we call a 1s orbital. The lowest energy orbital about an atom is n equal 1, and the only possible value of L is s. We'll use the designation n L m sub L to label our orbitals. So this one, n equals 1, l equals 0, which is an s, and m sub l is also 0, and the only possibility is 0, so we just leave that off. If you go to n equal 2, you can also have an s. So n equals 1 and n equals 2 both give rise to a spherically symmetric s orbital. But when n equals 2, you can also have l equal 1. L equal 1 has three values of m sub l. m sub l minus 1, 0, and 1. These are the three equivalent p orbitals. When L equals 1, we give the designation p to the quantum number. So we're going to call these two p orbitals. And we give them the designation px, py, and pz. They look like this, little dumbbells, the pz along the z-axis, the px along the x-axis, and the py along the y-axis. Now, we can continue and go to principal quantum level 3, and a 3s orbital is also possible. It'll also be spherically symmetric. It'll have more nodes, it'll have two nodes, radial, than the 2s, which has one radial node, and the 1s, which has no nodes. So the number of nodes increase, but the overall spherical symmetry remains the same. And of course, when n equals 2, you can still have l equal 1. So you'll have a set of 3s orbitals, 3px, 3py, and 3pz. But when n equals 3, you can also have l equal 2. So now you'll have a set of 5d orbitals, because when l is 2, there's five possible values of m sub l, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. That gives rise to a set of five different shape and orientation, but equal in energy orbitals. And I have some models of them right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 d orbitals. They're equivalent in energy, and they make up the set of equivalent orbitals for n equal 3, l equal 2, and m sub l, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And again, when you look in your textbook, these will be given geometric notations, z squared, x squared minus y squared, et cetera, rather than the m sub l integer values. We do that for purely geometric reasons. The important thing is there's five equivalent orbitals in a set of d orbitals. So you can see an electron can exist in a myriad of different states around the atom. And when you have more than one electron, they need to share these states. So that's what we'll look at next.